38 minutes after 7 o'clock this morning, every nine seconds a woman in the United States is beaten or assaulted by a current or former partner. It affects millions of people every year. This morning, the owner of a local CrossFit gym shares her story of surviving domestic abuse. Her former boyfriend was convicted of domestic battery for an incident two years ago. News for Jacks reporter Ashley Harding joins us live this morning. And Ashley, the two actually started this business together. Jen, they did. Good morning to, to you both, to you and Bruce. Yes, they opened the gym and ran it together. And Anna Rushing said from the outside, things looked like they were going well. But she says behind closed doors, they were not. And this is a picture of her ex-boyfriend, Peter Conant. He is nearly two years into a three-year, four-month prison sentence. That's, in, that's according to the Depart Department of Corrections. And since his conviction, Rushing has taken over the gym. Now, she's made her dream come true and is sharing her story to help women escape similar situations situations. These days, Anna Rushing is doing so much more than heavy lifting. Through her business, Rack City CrossFit, Rushing is helping others transform. She's done a lot of that herself since escaping her abuser, Peter Conant. With him not around, controlling and putting me down and kind of keeping me um, in a certain parameter, I was able to actually be 100% myself. While the two ran their business together, Rushing says Conant was abusive behind closed doors. She said control and verbal abuse escalated. There was incidents where he would punch me, uh, hit me, um, but specifically the night that I uh, ended up calling the police. The abuse all came to a head one night. Rushing says Conant did several things to her, including strangling her, hitting her multiple times in the face and locking her in a room. She says it went on for several hours. I had kind of barricaded myself in the bathroom and I was looking at this indention in the wall that was the perfect shape of the back of my head where he had taken my neck and shoved me into the wall. Rushing dials 911 several times through the night. Finally, she found the courage to tell what was happening. The police were there within minutes. She credits the dispatcher. She didn't know me, but her love just for humanity did. It saved my life. And just the tone in her voice and no judgment, just I'm here to help you. Since leaving her abuser and healing, Rushing's business has flourished. In many ways, her 90 plus clients feel like a family. She has a message for others currently in abusive relationships. To be able to be free um, and, you know, grow into and be the person that you truly are without somebody holding you down, it's, it's worth it. And court records out of St. Johns County show that Conant had other charges before the one involving Anna Rushing. She said she knew about one of them, but not the other. She has an injunction currently against him. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station. Ashley, how does Anna feel about her ex eventually one day getting out of prison? Jen, I asked her about that. She says that is something she does think about and admits it does scare her. But she says a lot of her clients actually are police officers. She also says she feels like she has a very strong, safe community. And for that reason, she says she does feel safe overall. Ashley, thank you. It is 18 minutes before 8 o'clock this morning. We want to remind you that resources are available throughout Northeast Florida for domestic violence victims. In fact, you'll find links and phone numbers to several groups that can help on newsforjacks.com. You can also find that information and read Anna Rushing's story by signing up for our daily newsletter, The Morning Planned.